Nestle, Nestle. That was a nice video you did, Mommy. Uh, it was. Thank I you, hear the half of it. Thank you, Nestle. Ooh, cutie patootie. Welcome to my channel. I'm Bridget and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I quit my RN job a few weeks ago and it wasn't an easy choice to make but because of my situation I really had no other choice. So I am an RN on a PCU floor and that's normally where I've always worked you know on PCU floors. Sometimes I'll go into the ICU but when I do help ICU out it's mostly PCU status patients, so patients that are supposed to be going into PCU or if um, a patient's ICU and they're not too critical for me to take care of, I can do that too. In February, I had the flu for like almost a month and I didn't take, I didn't take my flu shot because every time it was time for me to take my flu shot, I had a cold, so they told me to hold off. And I think that was around the time the coronavirus is also just started like in Washington so because the flu I had to uh, stay out of work for a while um, and then when I it was time for me to go back to work I was starting to have childcare issues now I started going through so many different babysitters my first babysitter that I've had for like over a year her husband deployed so she decided to go back home so after that I started having you know different babysitters and it is so hard to find a babysitter because they're constantly calling out. And my past four babysitters, after my one babysitter that I've had for over a year, um, they all kept calling out and telling me, you know, they all had the flu. So, um, which I understood because when uh, I went to the doctor to get tested for flu, I had uh, flu A, influenza A. So I just assumed, you know, the flu was going around. I didn't think nothing about the coronavirus at the time. So because of that, I had to call, um, pretty much call it quits. I couldn't find a steady babysitter. And as a nurse, you have to, you have to go to work every, every time you're, um, scheduled to work. You know, it's a 12 hour shift and your fellow coworkers actually look forward to making sure, or they look forward to you coming on shift because they don't want to have to take on more patients or they don't have to call in a person um, last minute to come in. So making sure you go to work is really important. And then I felt bad if my babysitter is called out the last minute and I have to work the next couple hours. So I ended up having to quit my job and it was the hardest thing I had to do. Okay, the first time I attempted to go in, my manager for Fuse was like, no, I need you, you know? And I was like, oh my goodness. And then I was like, I really did not want to quit my job because I love my job. I love being a nurse. I love taking care of patients. I look forward to work every day. So then, you know, two weeks passed and I realized I just could not find another babysitter that was consistent. Um, even when I did hire a new babysitter, she literally called out her first day and... It was just, I was just like, okay, this is a sign for me to stop working. So I went back in to my boss and I told her, you know, I don't have a consistent babysitter. I have no one to watch my two little girls. I can't work. And it's just fortunate that I have um, a husband that's in the, in the army that can take care of us you know, or we can manage off of just his salary, but it really is helpful when I do work and I, it sucks having to put your career last, you know, and especially when you're married to the military, it's like you're a single mom. So I really feel for all those single moms out there, but it did hurt that I had to go back to being a stay home mom. Nothing's wrong with being a stay home mom. It's just Stay, being a stay-at-home mom is not easy. Like, I give props to all the moms out there that are doing it. Like, stay-at-home mom is 
for okay for me this is just my opinion it's mentally tasking <laughs> um it really takes a lot of patience and you really have to focus on the kids you can't forget about yourself and you have to manage the housework the cooking it's, it's just a lot of work you know and I love having to just go to work and focus on my patients just have you know doing what I love I mean I love I love taking care of my kids okay and I, mean, I love taking care of patients but just having that career is really um, it's not as stressful as staying home all day anyways now that I've been staying home and you know when I had quit my job I literally walked from my um, boss's office to my car and just started crying because I just love my job you know progressive care unit is you know full of patients that really need you and you really have to work as a team with your fellow nurses and nurse aides and just everybody in the healthcare um, field you guys all work together to take care of these patients and it's really like it's really it's like really like it's like a family trying to take care of our own family you know and um I was just really passionate about it so, but now that I'm at home and I'm seeing all these corona outbreak um going around and all these healthcare workers really working their butts off and just their dedication I'm I'm really grateful that I am able to stay home and take care of my kids keep us safe um I really I would love to go back to work and help to help patients and help you know our staff our hospitals I really would I just can't find a and now that, and especially now that we have social distancing I couldn't even trust anybody right now to just come into my house and watch my kids because I don't know where some of these people have been you know um and I I don't know if I mentioned this but I'm also pregnant I'm like almost eight months pregnant so, I mean, I can show you guys belly pics. So, <laughs> also was working with my belly. I mean, there was a couple of us that was pregnant and still working. Um, you know, that's why it's really important to have the PPE that's been going around in the news. Like, you know, hospitals and staff is um, in need of PPE because it keeps us safe. It keeps us nurses safe. And make sh um, keeping us safe helps us to take care of more patients properly, and um, just helps manage the workload. So, besides that, I'm super grateful, and I hope everyone's um, staying healthy and happy, and you know, um, keeping their men mental healthy. I know it's not easy staying home. But, and if you are like me with two kids and also pregnant, it's not the easiest task. So I just hope that um, this video had, can help people relate to my situation. You know, having kids, being pregnant, being a nurse, having a military spouse, or even just being a single mom. Um, it's not easy but we're women and we're strong and we can do anything so thank you guys for watching my video um i have i'll try to make more videos on you know some wellness nutrition some motherhood videos you know some lifestyle videos and hopefully you guys um, continue to watch so please like comment subscribe and once again, thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Bye.